Hello. Welcome to Rad System Studio. My name is Tuzik. In today's episode of Ad Page Properties, we're going to learn how to label input field. I'm currently working with Rad System Studio version 4.6. This version provides a shortcut to help us publish our project by clicking the F5 button or clicking on the F5 Publish Project button just above your working space. This is a PHP Rad Classic project. By name Project 2, this project has three tables which includes customers, products and sales. Now let's get started. On your left hand side, locate database table and select any table of your choice from your project. I'm going to use the customers table. On your immediate next column, locate and click on add page. On the third column titled add page fields we can see the list of fields from the table we selected and I'm going to use the name field for this demonstration. Before we continue, let's publish our project and then preview it in our favorite browser. Let's navigate to our table of interest. Click on add new button and as we can see so many fields, now let's change the labels of these fields. Let's drive back to Rad System Studio. On the field property, under the start with field set title section, locate display label. By default Rad System Studio generates the display label as name and the placeholder as enter name. We can change the display label to full name. Once done, let's publish our project and then preview in browser. When we refresh our page, we can see that the label name has been changed to full name. That's cool. Observe that this takes automatic effect on the placeholder. That means, whatever changes we make to the display label, automatically affects the placeholder unless you make a manual changes to the placeholder itself. The next thing we'll talk about is field grouping. I want the name field to have two subfields. Driving back to Rad System Studio. I'm going to locate the start with field set title and I'll key in step 1 into the input space. Once done, let's publish our project, and then preview in browser. When we refresh our page, we can see step 1 directly above our display. We can also generate a step 2 and I'll use DOB field for this demonstration. I'm going to locate the start with field set title and I'll key in step 2 into the input space. Let's preview it on the browser. We can see step 2 directly above phone field display label. Now here's the trick. Remember we worked with DOB field and we thought the group label should to go above the DOB display label like it did with name field but it doesn't work that way. It only appears above for the first field and then the rest appears below the fields we decide to work with. So if we want step 2 to appear above the phone field, we'll work with the field directly above it which is DOB. We can also decide to style our field title and once we publish, preview and refresh our page, it takes effect immediately. Now we've learned how to label input field. Thank you for joining us today. Most importantly, if you've not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe for more tutorial videos like this and don't forget to like, comment and share. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.